Hello and welcome to another episode of Scortified Engineering. As for this, and in this super episode, we are continuing with the intercooler V band. Uh, we have the compressor upgrade, throttle body upgrade, uh, oil cooler setup or mount, power steering lines and mounts. Uh, in the last episode, I prepared many of the parts so i don't think i will be able to weld today but um, let's see if we can decide on the positioning of the compressor housing and uh, that first intercooler pipe and maybe also um, finalize the cooler mount you can see it's a slow progressing project but I would get changed and get started. I have replaced the uh, compressor cover to see the clocking so this is the old mark I did so we're already a bit off but since we don't have that elongated pipe then that should be fine. And then I'll just turn the light on, like so. So if we place this V-band somewhere around here. So the power steering lines in the middle of the picture is what's limiting the movement towards, well, down in the picture. So if we have it something like this, then I think that will be fine and what I've done is this so I think uh, if I cut the bend in half then we will roughly be in the correct spot because this is too long and yeah, not good. So cut this in half and then we will see where we end up. After only two iterations, we end up with this. Silver tape is good. And let's see if I can show you what it looks like in the car. So I disconnected the oil feed to the turbo, note to self. Uh, taped it as well to cover it up in a bag on the hose end. But So when we have that sort of in place, I think because so I, I need to go a bit in order to hit something and when I hold it in a place where I think it's centered, you can see that if we push a little bit on the power steering line, then we are home, so to say. So something like this. And I haven't cleaned up the pipes after cutting them in case I needed to do another iteration. And of course that ended up being good. 
but I will, I think I will prioritize lining up this cone with the outlet of the compressor housing. And then there will be another rotation and decision. So, good. I will not end this episode here, but I will let you know that I need to go home and eat. So I will continue tomorrow, hopefully. See you in a sec. So it's not the next day. It's actually the next month. Uh, the flu and painting a fuel tank and a front fender for a motorcycle came in between. But today we are continuing with the uh, intercooler pipes and most importantly, the uh, V-band connections going from the compressor cover of the turbo. So I will get changed and get started. So the compressor cover and then the first piece of pipe. And I think I am happy with the, uh, the bends and clocking and so on. So I only need to determine the clocking between this cone piece and the compressor cover and as you can see I haven't cleaned them on the inside because I anyway want to clean them properly before I weld them so I will put some scratch marks so that I can re-clock them in the same position clean them uh, and then put a few spot welds the most important one is the cone because I want to center that uh, with uh, this inner circumference and it's not really since the outer one is not lining up with the outer one on the compressor cover I can't really look at that like I can with the other pieces in here so we'll do this one to the compressor cover and then uh, do the other ones and of course I managed to break the compressor cover o-ring not good and I've changed my mind since I actually can get through the entire piece even though it's welded on so I would just put the tape to the side wipe it down with um, uh, cleaning uh, and then put just one tack between each piece and then do the same on the other side. So that didn't really turn out as expected or maybe it did because I did see the smoke from the tape 
and I should have stopped. I didn't, so it melted everywhere. So I have to had to wire wheel this. Um, I think I will need to clean it a few more times, but at least it's holding together. Um, so, but also the marking I did in relation to the compressor cover is gone. So I need to redo that. So I managed to get uh, something that looks like a booger holding the this piece and let's put on some light. So this power steering hose will be moved a bit by the, the pipe that will connect to this fitting. But uh, the uh, clearance to the exhaust manifold is good and uh, I think I'm pretty happy with this. I mean it was tighter with the last setup. So yeah, I think we can continue welding this. The only thing that would make this better is if it could come out overall, but that's not possible. So Mm -hmm. I will settle with this. And here on the floor I have two boxes of filler material. I have one that I marked uh, written Ni Alu on, so new aluminum. And here we have old aluminum and then also stainless. They are in separate. And the stainless is in a plastic bag so it's good. So I'm using the one filler rod for connecting the pieces to the compressor cover and then one filler material for connecting the new pieces to each other. So after a bit of welding we have one, um, one lap completed so between the compressor cover and the cone. It's not the prettiest of welds but uh, I think it should work and if we push the power steering line a bit then we should have a pipe that clears. Um, another option would be to push the power steering line in the other direction. We'll see but then I would need to bend the power steering pipe uh, down there. So. Uh, yeah, I'm happy. And uh, also with the uh, welder that I have, we're stuck at 50 hertz. And uh, yeah, so it's a bit brute force, I guess. So considering that, I'm happy. And out in the wild, this is what it looks like. So I will wire wheel this and I will also grind a little bit to make it look better. Uh, the wire wheeling is to clean as much as possible before welding. And you can see that we, we can reach pretty much the entire length of this pipe on the inside. It shouldn't be a problem um, cleaning everything up after welding everything. Considering this is like a uh, back to Supra work 
episode. Uh, well, the second half of it, at least. Uh, I'm quite happy with the progress. Usually when I come back to the garage, I uh, was called procrastinate a lot before I actually get some work done. But this time I was able to get started. Uh, perhaps because this time I had good preparation. The pipes were pretty much ready to go. I had more argon gas, welding gas, and uh, yeah, then I had good um, a good starting point. So uh, with that, I think we can uh, move on to the pipe going from this down to the intercooler, but that will have to wait till the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.